Yo, what up Lucid Crew? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I am Lucid Rob, and today we're going to look at videos that you send me to try to figure out what's happening. What's going on? I, I don't know. Let's get into it. What the f margin than there are in Europe or Egypt. In fact, the Smithsonian was caught stealing mummies. There are more mummies found in America in this time frame by a gigantic margin than there are in Europe or Egypt. In fact, the Smithsonian was caught stealing mummies from Colorado and shipping them to Europe. And the deeper you go, the crazier the things they find. 17 miles northeast of Manchester is a prehistoric cavern in which wonderful discoveries have lately been made. They're on a farmer's land in Ohio. The, the ground shapes downward into this weird depression in his land. What they find when they remove the rocks covering the bottom of this depression is a tunnel into a underground tomb. It contains nine chambers or rooms. They find a well in one of these chambers and 45 feet from the top of that well, they found the entrance to a second cavern, which proved to be the family tomb of a race of gigantic men. Yeah, it's insane. Even a single human statue, if you asked anybody on the street, has that ever been found in America, they'd probably say no. I mean, I have to think that, I mean, you figure this landmass that America's on, this continent is as old as all the other ones, right? And we know that there have been similarities between all the different kinds of tribes and, and civilizations over the years with similar drawings, hieroglyphs. There's a petroglyph, I think, is that? Is that a thing? Is that something similar? I don't know. Um, <laughs> but pyramids and all kinds of stuff, right? So you have to think. Like, It would make sense that we would also find similar rituals, like burial rituals and uh, preservation rituals of the deceased uh, and mummies and whatnot, too. Uh, I'm pretty sure they... I mean, people say they found a bunch of like Egyptian tombs and whatnot in the Grand Canyon. That's like a theory that's out there that is it's pretty crazy, but honestly not very surprising at all. It just makes me wonder, like, is this stuff, has this stuff been around as long as, like, Pangea? Like, do we have civilizations that were around back then when, like, the Earth was just one, like, one big landmass just, you know, on water? Because that's, that would be interesting. I would say, like, the pyramids are actually, like, that old. I don't know, just got my brain working again. It's crazy. There are two questions I have to ask. Go ahead. The first one's kind of fun. Aliens. I want to talk to you about aliens, yeah. UFOs, UAPs, I know. the disclosure we've seen in Congress yeah. recently. It's, it's, it's confusing and upsetting a lot of Americans because something's going, there's something happening. There are unidentified aerial phenomena in the sky. We don't know what they are. Do you? So it's such a, a, a question I do get a lot, and it's such an interesting question. I've met with pilots that look just like you, actually. Okay, they have more of a crew cut. Okay. They, they look like him and they look like you. Some of them look like you. <laughs> a little fatter. <laughs> but the, these are perfect people. Okay. And they're not, not you crazy. know, conspiratorial. Yeah. They're right. not crazy. Yeah. And they tell me stories that they've seen things that you wouldn't believe. These are not people that you would say, There's gee, no way. oh, that's no okay. Way. President of the United States. But I said, was who is it? That's me? Joe Biden wanting to do an interview. <laughs> uh, so I met with pilots like beautiful Tom Cruise, but taller. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Handsome, perfect people. Sir, there was something there that was round in form and going like four times faster than my super jet fighter plane. And I look at these guys and they really mean it. Yeah. And am I a believer? No, I probably, I can't say I am, but I have met with people that are serious people that say, there's some really strange things that they see flying around out there. And, you know, if you go to Nevada and you look at that little section of, of uh, where, where they go to look at uh, the aliens, where they think all the aliens are landing, that, you know, it's one of, I think it's a, maybe the number one tourist attraction in the United Ros States. Roswell? Yeah. Yeah. Roswell. It's, I think it's the number one. It, it's the lines of people waiting you have no idea how many times I'm asked that question. But don't you have access to that information? I have access, but, and I, I speak to people about it. I've had actually meetings on it and they will tell you there's something going on. When they say things, things are going four times faster than my beautiful top of the line airplane that goes, you know, <laughs> Mach real fast. With no identifiable propulsion Mach system. Two, yeah. Right? <laughs> These things are creating their own gravity fields, allegedly. Well, they, they have, they have, uh, people, that are very smart and very solid have said 
they believe there is something out there. And, you know, it makes sense that there could be. I've never been convinced, even despite that. You know, mm-hmm. I just, for some reason, it's not my thing. But a lot of people believe that it's true. A lot of very good, solid people believe it's true. Mm-hmm. What? And you I have- know there are illegal aliens out there, but those are the ones that come through the border. We have plenty of them. <laughs> those are the ones I know. When you say aliens, I say, are they illegal aliens? These are... These, these might be illegal, but we don't want to test them yeah. because if they can go four times faster, we're not going to test them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's an interesting question. Yeah. I always think it's so interesting that people at like high levels like that who honestly probably can't say anything, even if they wanted to, right, tend to like to dance around the truth. Uh, it seems like he was like, I don't believe in it personally, you know, <laughs> winking, but I know people that I trust, people that know better than I do, people that are in the right state of mind, you know, they're not manic, they're not crazy, and they believe in them. So you're going to take my word for it, someone who doesn't believe and probably can't, you know, doesn't believe and can't tell you even if I do, or the people that even I trust more than my own opinion. That's kind of what I'm getting from that. Um, I'm sure a lot of them are, you know, like government spacecrafts, you know, secret um, space programs or, or just airplanes, you know, just like military, like test vehicles and whatnot. Cause you figure, man, like military technology is so much beyond what we're given in the public. It's crazy. I don't know exactly how far ahead they said they were, but I think like they were like 20 years ahead back in like the nineties or probably sixties. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm butchering that, but I just know like it's way ahead of us. So a lot of it could probably most definitely even be just, you know, secret projects secret military projects but i think a lot of it you know i'm I'm obviously a believer in aliens and stuff i like to think that that would be what they were but um yeah maybe a a small portion of them are aliens but anna what do you think Everybody's moving in the back room We're waiting for the sun to rise We move a little closer in the back room Feeling deeper cause we know it's our time Everybody's moving in the back room We're waiting for the sun to rise We move a little closer in the back room Digital erasure, passive, facial. Okay, so first reaction to that would be like lizard people, right? Or aliens in the skies or whatnot. Uh, maybe. Um, hope not. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think in a lot of cases, it's literally just like celebrities having mental breakdowns, right? We know that old rock stars and stuff were like given like drugs and stuff in order to like keep going and keep going on tour, you know, given given drugs that, you know, keep them like docile and and keep them, you know, awake so they can just consistently tour and be on the road. And, you know, they're going to like autograph signings, interview, a live show, recording studio. They just go, 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 go. And I think at some point all that like wears you down and makes you crazy, right? Like you kind of lose your mind a little bit and. You know, you can have health issues, strokes, uh, whatever. So I think in a lot of cases, like with Katy Perry, uh, we've seen Britney Spears break down, you know, back in the day, she shaved her head, and and then now she's just, like, an insane person on Instagram. But, um, yeah, I think it just just wears on it, man. As far as, like, the politicians and whatnot with the weird stuff, like, who knows, man? I mean, who honestly knows, dude? <laughs> who knows? I know there's a uh, study that just came out recently from some prestigious university saying that there, the possibility of aliens hiding amongst us, like men in, back, men in black style, uh, are fairly high. So I, I don't know how serious that's being taken, but I've seen it shared a lot. I uh, haven't read the article yet. Just, you know, memes. That's how I get my news nowadays, are memes. Uh, <laughs> probably like the rest of us. But yeah, look into that. Uh, which I'm sure that wouldn't surprise you if that was the case after all the stuff that we've seen up to this point. Guys, in the creative society, the issue of disease and aging 
will be completely solved. Now, how is that possible? Thanks to a technology that extends human life beyond the species limit. In the creative society, every person will have access to a health capsule absolutely free of charge. This capsule can extend a person's life to at least 1,500 years, restoring youth, health, and even older people. Take a look. Now, each home will have a capsule just like this, right? And the, rest the health restoration procedure will take only a few minutes and be entirely painless. I don't know about you guys, but I personally have tons of family that have experienced tons of pain from the healthcare system currently. Um, and it is essentially designed to keep people in their current state and just continue uh, getting rid of the symptoms, so to speak. But with this, your health will be so robust that a person will have the ability to climb Mount Everest if they wanted to, and that's even without a mask or oxygen, if they desire. Cool. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> Send me, I'm ready. <laughs> Their state of health will enable them to achieve records that are currently considered impossible. And this is an absolute reality. Life extension is simply a matter of physiochemical processes. Today, there are already fundamental studies that are the first steps in developing this technology, proving that living for 1,500 years is possible. We present a movie after which all of this will no longer seem like a science fiction movie to you. <laughs> it's just an adrenochrome shower. You just get in it and it's just like... <laughs> fucking... Like baby foreskins. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just thinking of that Sandra Bullock um, clip. She was talking about like how her uh, face cream has foreskins in it. What? To like keep the de-aging process. Uh, and what's the science behind this? I mean, this guy's making a lot of claims. Is this from a movie? Is this satire? Is this... I don't know. There's a website. I didn't visit it. If you guys want to visit it and tell me in the comments or in the Discord what uh what they're talking about be my guest uh <laughs> it sounds very far-fetched to me and also the like the sustainability like what would the sustainability be like to live for 1500 years i would love it personally i would absolutely love it i would love to see where the world is at 1500 years from now uh, assuming it's still here <laughs> at the current rate who knows but yeah as far as like being provided food resources money like whatever you need to survive through that like 1500 years uh, I guess in like a socialist society, um, which I'm I'm not for socialism. That's not my not my bag. Cool if it is yours, I guess. That could work, I guess. Like everyone just like living, you know, not above their means and and being provided for. You know, people could live for fifteen hundred years. And I'm assuming with that kind of technological advancement, to where we could just like regenerate our bodies by standing in a phone booth. That on top of that, like agriculture and food and and just everything would be also um, so incredibly superior to where it is now to where, you know, we wouldn't have an issue with like food or population, you know, population eating our resources or space. I'm assuming by the point this happens, we will also be like a multi planet species uh, or maybe just live in like space stations just to get some of the population, you know, out and, and make more room for more people. But I don't know. This, this is obviously not at least, to, to my knowledge, as easy as he's saying it is, just everybody will have a everybody will have a test tube. Uh, <laughs> a lot. Everyone will have a giant test tube in their home that they could just. You feel a little sick, just stand in the test tube. Boom, there you go. And now you're 15 years old again for four days, and then you rapidly age to age 60 and keep the process going, or however it works. I don't know. I've been finally given permission to discuss. The work that I do on a contractor basis uh, with a government agency regarding the investigation, research, and development of what's called a temporal adjudicator. I'm putting some of the um, schematics up, and this is a, an incredibly rare and interesting picture of the portal that is created by the adjudicator. Um, basically, the adjudicator not only allows someone uh, to move through 
time in actually a very limited sense. You can't go incredibly far into the future and you can't go very, very far back either way. Uh, but you can go essentially a few years in either direction. Um, they're allowing this to happen, especially on the social media platform, not on anything that is sort of mainstream in terms of media outlets, um, because, well, they really have a policy, whether it's UAPs and aliens or something like the Temporal Adjudicator, of telling the truth. And it, that what they bank on, what they completely expect, is that it will be dismissed, ridiculed, marginalized, ignored, and they still then have the moral stance that they have told the truth, and you guys just didn't believe it. So that's why I'm not going to spend any time trying to convince anybody of its veracity. I'm just telling you about my experience. So here's me going through it. And what's interesting about it is not only can it go forward and backwards in time a few years, it can actually go anywhere in your current timeline in terms of location. So it basically eliminates the need for trains, planes, and automobiles. You can basically go to you know, this beach in the Maldives, uh, anywhere you want to go. It's simply an adjustment on the adjudicator technology that allows you to go. I mean, that, that's actually how the technology first got developed, was trying to just simply uh, create a technology that allowed essentially like a Star Trek beam me up Scotty, um, transferring someone from one place to another. I was finally given permission to... <laughs> Screw it up. That's that's trash, right? That's that's BFX. Like that's not real at all. This would not be on TikTok if this was real. This would not be on TikTok. Nobody, no government agency or government funded agency project is going to allow <laughs> this kind of information to be released. There's no way. There, there's absolutely no way that if our country or another country had this kind of technology where they could just like you know, back to the future, punch in a date or a location and just just come through a portal and be there. There's no way they would let that information get out to other countries. They would be using that to their advantage to dominate the world. This, they're not going to let some guy put it on TikTok. That's, those are special effects. I don't care what anybody says. This may very well be possible. This may be possible. But this instance is not, there's no way. There's no way. And that dude is not alive anymore, if that is real. I'm just, just going to put it out there. If this is real, you know, rip. Rip, buddy. Look here, y'all. It's a dragon. Here's his head. I'm working on something here. On his nose. This piece right here. Godzilla would look. And there's his claw. That claw right there. See it? Look at that. My brother in Christ, congratulations, you found a rock. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Honestly, I don't know. I was watching something uh, the other day that basically said, not that I'm like a religious person and stuff, um, but I do feel that like old religious texts do have some, you know, truth to them based on, you know, eyewitness account stories, whatever it may be. Uh, and I guess dragons are, you know, talked about quite a bit and dinosaurs were not talked about until a long time after, like, like very recently in history uh, in comparison to the... Amount of time dragons were were spoken of. So yeah, I think dragons existed. I think that dinosaurs probably survived, probably existed along the time of some humans potentially. I don't know, 
or maybe some dinosaur-like um, species or beings that people call dragons. I don't know. I know like alligators have been around. They're technically dinosaurs, right? Birds. Uh, maybe the Loch Ness Monster is a dinosaur. Who knows? Remember when the ship crashed into the Baltimore Bridge? Why on earth is a crew still on it? 21 people for the last two months. And their phones are confiscated. Make this make sense. The day after the bridge collapsed suspiciously, Biden came out and said, no investigation necessary. The U.S. government will pay for the bridge. Shortly thereafter, the insurance company came out and said, we'll pay out too. In what world does the U.S. government and insurance company pay out immediately without an investigation? Nothing to see here. Don't go digging around. Maui is still dealing with the debris removal and fighting with insurance companies 10 months later. But the bridge? No problem. Let's just pay it out. And then, and then, now we find out that the 21 members of the crew are stuck on the ship, not allowed to leave, trapped, and their phones have been confiscated. Why are they prisoners? The news says they can't leave the ship because of visa restrictions. What? We let ungodly amount of people through the border without visas, but now it's a problem? The conspiracy theorists said cyber attack. Government quickly said, accident. What's really going on here? Oh, dude, I don't trust any of the stuff, man. The stuff that I've heard, which hasn't been much, I surprisingly haven't been sent too much stuff about the Baltimore Bridge. If you have more, feel free to send it my way. But it just doesn't add up, man. It's like the power was going in and out. I don't know. It, it didn't seem right. Um, but I've also seen someone say something about, like, if the power did go out and the, the crew was trying to manually turn the ship, it would take a very long time to get those rudders to actually turn manually. So, who knows? I, I don't know. I don't know enough about it, but, I mean, if you do, I mean, let me know in the comments or send me some more stuff, because it, it just doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't seem to add up, man. But I mean, none of this stuff really does, ever, though. I don't believe any of what I'm told 100% when it comes to any of this stuff. never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon by eye without looking through the optics. Uh, I don't recall during the period of time that we were photographing the Sona Corolla what, uh, what stars we could see. I don't remember seeing any. You can see the stars. Oh yeah. And, yeah. You know, and, and uh, pretty much all the time you can see yeah. the stars. I don't remember seeing any. I've had this discussion many times on this channel. I am not a flat earther. I don't believe the earth is flat. Um, I think it's a donut. I think it's a torus. It's shaped like a donut. No, I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's flat. I, I don't think there's the, the permanent. I, I think that it is... Um, I said ferninant. Ferninant. Ferminant. Ferminant. <laughs> I can't even talk today. Why am I doing this? Why am I recording this video right now? Um... I don't think we're in a snow globe, okay? I, I think, like, the Earth is round, likely. I think that it's very harsh conditions um, through the atmosphere. I do know, and it is actually well known, that anytime like, people are sent to ISS or whatever, they're actually in low Earth orbit. They're not actually in outer space. They're actually in low Earth orbit, which is still technically within the confines of Earth, I guess, from what I understand, which makes it kind of weird that we went to the moon after that's actually admitted by the scientists and stuff that we've only ever been in low earth orbit so that is weird i'll give it that much but <laughs> i don't think the earth is flat and i think people um misunderstand really just just don't comprehend how large the earth is like it, from even from up in a plane like it would look flat the earth is massive so i, I think that's like a common mis misconception people are, are too hung up on not being able to see 
um, that the Earth is round, so I don't think it's round from <clears throat> any sort of altitude they've been to. So, uh, that's just my opinion. I'm not saying it's right. That's just what I think. Uh, I know uh, a lot of you guys that watch and are very supportive of the channel are Flat Earthers, and I love that we can agree to disagree on topics without you guys wanting to um, tear me limb from limb. <laughs> You died very recently. Is your, is your headstone close by? Is Tone your, terror. Tone terror. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Am I going the right direction? Cross the road. Okay. Okay. We're going. Uh, go north. Huh. Okay. Is it this direction? Just make sure you tell me when to stop. Cemetery. Yes. Can you give me your name? If you don't mind. That good. Thank you so much. Sarah. Hello. One ghost detected. We must stay. We must stay. Hurting. Hurting. I'm so sorry. Tyler. Tyler. Hi, Tyler. Is your headstone this way? You said go north. This is Eugene. north. Eugene and Tyler. Am I in the right area? They mean you harm. They mean me harm. Listen, I don't mind talking to good or bad spirits, okay? Dark. Dark spirit. This is sacred ground, you guys. 100% dark spirit. Uh, Tyler or Eugene. <laughs> Do not go. Do you not want me to go any further? Get out of here. Tyler. Yo. Yo, Tyler. Is this you? Sure. Sure. Thank you for showing us where your uh, headstone is. All right, guys. Uh, I need you to say it with me. And uh, three, two, one. Nope. Nope. Absolutely not. Get me out of there. <laughs> Get me the out of there there's no way spirit box that was if that was a spirit box so wait a minute okay back up let me just let me just back up i don't do ghost stuff by the way if you're new here i do not do ghost spooky nopes nope nope no things nope things i don't do the nope things um spirit boxes normally aren't that clear it's like can just find different channels to, to spout out you know uh different frequencies until it catches like a word or something in the middle of a bunch of different broadcasts but what the what the hell was that was he like on a walkie talkie because it, it seemed like it was like a spirit box but it was very quiet do they have spirit boxes that like aren't as staticky i don't know but uh nonetheless no thank you uh eugene no thank you tyler i appreciate you coming but uh keep your ass underground buddy Space Force put out another cryptic message. So you know how on Ingersoll Lockwood Incorporated, if you zoom in and click on that little ET, it'll take you straight to the UAP reports, right? Unidentified aerial phenomenon. Well, there's always been this white rabbit link at the bottom of the page that takes you to a cryptic message. Check it out when you click this. Winds in the east. Miss coming in. Like something is brewing, about to begin. Can't put me finger on what lies in store. But I feel what's to happen, all happened before. In case you don't know who Ingersoll Lockwood is, he's the author of those two books, Baron Trump's Underground Journey and The Last President that freakily go along with President Trump. And we know President Trump declared Space Force the sixth military branch. And Warner Von Braun warned of a false flag alien invasion and how we would know it's coming is when they weaponized space. Ingersoll Lockwood isn't the only person who scripts the future in books because we have Warner Von Braun's Project Mars which the main character in this book who colonizes Mars is a character named Elon. Of course, you know, Werner Von Braun's headstone has Psalms 19.1 on it, which says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the dome of the sky speaks the work of his hands. And Elon Musk is like, Hey, I can't get through the firmament. Does anyone want to buy SpaceX? And he posted this, saying, As close as you can get to space while being in a glass dome. Boop. But... Could you be talking about the firmament? My honest opinion is history does repeat itself, and I think that Elon is the new character that Warner Von Braun once was. And look at their affiliates. Look who all Space Force and Ingersoll Lockwood is affiliated with. Wow. 
See a lot of peculiar things on that list. Ingersoll Lockwood Incorporated and Space Force have been putting cryptic messages in for the last year, showing us that something's coming, but now that the eclipse is on the way, I mean, could it have something to do with it? I don't know. I don't know, man. It's, it's hard to know what Elon is being serious about. I like Elon. I think he's hilarious. He's, he's a total meme lord, uh, <laughs> and he just likes to screw with people, right? So... Um, he could be hinting towards some things, um, but at the same time, he could just be like really just playing into, you know, just people's fears and, and just memes and, and I can't even think of the word, but uh, screwing with people. He likes to mess with people, likes to screw with people. As far as Space Force, having like that um, link to that video with that creepy song from that movie with that guy that I saw in another movie, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I know that, uh, you know, Trump jokes with people a lot. I know his son, Trump Jr., is like a big meme guy, too. So maybe they're just really just like playing into it and leaning into everything that we're thinking just to screw with us. But at the same time, maybe they're, you know, putting it out there for us to see. You know, universal law. You have to, you know, get people's permission. And if you tell them about it and they don't stop you, that's the same as them giving you permission. So you can do it, you know, without repercussion and karma and all that stuff. So. I don't know. Let me know what you think. It's pretty effing weird and crazy. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know what's happening, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. But that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If this is your first time here, please like, subscribe, share, join the Discord, send me videos you want me to see. If you liked what you saw in this video, you can be a part of the next one. And if you are coming back, Lucid Crew, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you sticking with me through all this time, all the ups and downs, and me disappearing and, and coming back again. And um and whatnot uh, life is weird and uh throughout all of that i'm still making an effort to stick around and have fun with you guys and do more of this uh whenever i can and whenever you are available to join me and enjoy the experience together so thank you again everybody for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace